So that's just, we just wanted to sort of finish by sort of saying what were some of the take home messages we got from today's uh, meeting. And I really want to thank uh, Melissa, Melissa Zhang, who's really done a fantastic job of taking notes during the sessions today and summarizing everything in a, in a single slide. And so uh, thank you, Melissa. Um, so really there were two panels, uh, one on refining and chemicals, one on steels and cement. And um, in the first uh, panel, it was clear that um, you know carbon synthetic fuels and sustainable liquid fuels are the key for decarboni decarbonization. Um, I think some of the things that we thought were the game changers could be you know coupling existing assets with CCS that came up a lot. Although um, CCS carbon capture and storage was really not enough, but it was one of the the key ones. And then fuel switching to hydrogen was the other one that we heard about. Um, that we heard about uh, uh, quite a bit. Um, and then, you know, retrofitting oil and gas assets with electrification, which is the, you know, the subject of today's meeting is, is key, uh, but it's hard. It's not gonna be an easy thing to do. And we need to, uh, need to work hard on that. Um, we heard a lot from uh, Jewel and others about the, the um, systems perspective, um, you know, um, the, how important that is. We can't just look at the refinery just by itself, but we have to um, look at the whole system. And uh, so um, we need to consider the supply chain, the downstream feed out, the regional differences. All these came up in the discussion about, um, you know, how important it is to, to, when we look at this, to, to look at it from a systems uh, perspective. In the, the panel we just heard about on concrete and steel production, um, we heard about how what the best ways to, to reduce CO2 to to greenhouse gas emissions was um, right now we're, we're try, we should try and maximize the use of electric arc furnaces. Um, I think we heard that about 70% now uh, is, is now electric arc as opposed to blast furnaces. Um, and um, so, you know, as we look forward, some of the, the deployment of CCS is still there to, to, to you know, try and get down to uh, net zero. Um, we've had if we had quite a bit of discussion about cost um, that came up uh, a lot. It's uh, certainly um, one of the most undervalued challenges. Uh, is sensitivity to marginal cost. We heard from Eric that uh, that um, you know just a, a few cents here and there can make a make a big difference in, in cement production. Um, we should try and de-risk early technology. We should start looking at cost really at the right in the R and D process, um, proof of scalability. And of course, you know, right now we don't, uh, might not be a cost for carbon, but uh, as we look into the costs, we need to start thinking about the cost of carbon and the total cost of ownership. And um, so I think this uh, leads to the last one as well, the need for a credible, transparent accounting and regulatory system to show uh, decarbonization's impact on society. Um, and that's, I think, uh, applies uh, everywhere. So um, those are some of the high level sort of take home messages we think came out of today. Um, and thank you, Melissa, for putting that together.